Assalamu alaikum everyone, hope you all are doing great. This is Fatima Abbas and today we are going to design a beautiful seamless pattern in Adobe Illustrator using these elements. So let's get started. To draw the seamless pattern design, first I will draw a perfect square by holding down the shift key and I'm gonna lock it by going into the object lock selection. So now it's locked, I can't select it anymore and now I'm going to drag them on the square randomly. You can do the same with your elements. One thing you need to keep in your mind is you need to place all these elements inside the square. That is not any object which is half inside and half outside. Uh, you can do that too but in this way it will be a lot easier. So we are gonna keep all of our elements inside the square. Now I'm going to unlock the selection and I'm gonna select all of my elements and this square and I'm gonna make a group of them by pressing Ctrl plus G. Now there are two ways by which you can make a pattern out of it. Either you go into swatches and drag it in there like this. You can double click it to open the pattern properties or you can go into the windows, pattern options, click on here, make a pattern, click on OK. So these are the two ways by which you can make patterns. Now let's see how can we play with the pattern options. Here you can give it any name. I'm going to type 0 to 1. 0 to 1. From here I can give it grid or I can choose any other option but uh, my preference will be grid. So you see these, these don't work properly. So I'm gonna go with the grid one. They, I'm not saying that they are not useful. It basically depends on your pattern. So you can choose these options according to your pattern and it, according to my pattern, it's a square shape. So I'm going with the grid one. Here you can increase the edge spacing, horizontal spacing, or you can um, increase or decrease the vertical spacing as well. But I'm gonna keep both of them with zero pixels. These overlap options are again useless for my pattern. Next are copies. You can have multiple rows, multiple columns, and we are going with 5x5, that is 5 rows and 5 columns. And check this option to see how your pattern will look like. After changing the settings according to your preferences, you can either save this pattern as a copy or you can just click on done if you want the changes in the same pattern design. Now let's keep these elements outside the artboard. I'm not pressing this Ctrl Alt and Del, I don't know why it's appearing. So let's ignore it just for a moment. Uh, so now I'm going to select the pattern and I'm going to select the square and I'm going to make a square and you see the pattern will appear inside the shape. So this is how we can create a seamless pattern using any elements in Adobe Illustrator. Uh, and now we are going to learn some very important things of this pattern. We are going to see how to move the pattern inside the shape, how to scale it, how to rotate it, how to change its color. So let's see how we do that. So I'm going to draw a square. I'm going to increase its size a little bit like this. Now if you observe closely, when I will move this square shape, the pattern inside isn't moving. So to move the pattern inside the shape, what I will do is, I will press first of all the selection tool or you can press V on your keyboard and then you need to press crave accent key and you can easily move it on some keyboards you need to press control with it and on some laptops or keyboards you need to press alt with it uh, on my laptop it's so uh, working with um, uh, the combination of uh, control and crave accent key 
so you can you know try these all combinations on your keyboard and see which one is working for you and you know do let me know in the comment section as well because i worked so hard sorting it out from my keyboard next comes the scaling portion so now see if you select the square and if you scale it down and the pattern isn't scaling with it so to scale the pattern i'm gonna select this scale tool i'm gonna, gonna double click on it and our panel will appear now you can uncheck this transform object as i want to scale only the pattern and i'm gonna click on this uniform and preview so i can see what is happening and now i can change its value and you see the pattern is scaling accordingly in the same way we can rotate the pattern i'm gonna double click the rotate tool and again a panel will appear i'm gonna click on the preview I will only keep the transform patterns checked and now I can change its angle according to my preference. Let's see how can we change the background colors and I'm, I'm gonna double click on it and pattern options will appear. Now I'm gonna select this box and you see here I can change its color. Isn't it beautiful? I can change any color. This orange is looking really pretty. So now you can either save a copy or you can click on done. I'm gonna save its copy. So I'm gonna give it an orange name or the orange tag. Now click on OK and you will see that the both the patterns will appear in the swatches. So this is how we can design the seamless pattern in Adobe Illustrator. If you want to see some more tutorials like this, make sure you subscribe to the channel and do hit the bell icon.